For farms with droppers, I've been using the Observer Clock with great success. I don't actually know if I know the Observer Clock, although now I have a friend. Oh. I'll take those. Uh, so, I want to make two notes while we're down here. Wow, laggy. Uh, so, two rows, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. 26. Let's just pump in a full three rows so that we know what is going to be here. So once the farm starts working, I want to know how many it's being sent. So three rows of pumpkins currently there. We'll check the filters down below. We're going to have to put in some new ones, I think. So pumpkin is the orange one. And what do we got in here? Pumpkins. So some pumpkins might already be making their way down here. And that's full of junk. Okay. What were we using for filters? Carved pumpkins. String. So sticks is what I was using. That makes sense, actually. But we're going to have to switch this out regular pumpkins and then we'll put i think i've got two i think on the other side i've got two hoppers that that filter out items so over here because of the volume i've got two although they don't go anywhere oh they do so i think those hoppers on the bottom are just pointed into the one next to them yeah, they both they both lead to the hopper behind behind the dropper. So what I need to do over here is the same thing. We'll have to add in another filter. Yeah, like it you can see it here. But we'll have to add in one for pumpkins because we have string is doubled up, pumpkins is single, and melons is single. So we'll have to add, add a filter here and add a filter here. It's gonna be tricky. We'll have to carve some of this roof out, I think. Might have to do the same sort of thing on this side that we did the other side. Just have it nice and open. So, didn't bring my wood box with me. There might be might be some sticks up top, but we can do that at the end. So that'll be the last thing that we do. Don't think there's any pumpkins coming through. Not yet, anyway. And some of these are jack-o'-lanterns, but that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I did it right. I guess I just don't know why, why it's not working. Oh, you know what? It's because the extra redstone that I had, it's because of the way that I was powering it before. That redstone line, I think, is still there. I don't think I ripped it up. I don't remember, but that's something to check anyway. Paranor tweeted a pick of the circuit. Okay, cool. I'll, t I'll check it out. If I can't get this to work, then we might switch it up. Uh, here? Wow, look at that. Know where I'm going now. So that is still ticking. And, ah, yes. So if I do this. So if I hop up over here, then I think that I should be able to do this. Yes. And they are off to the races. Perfect. Okay, so that's, that's what I was doing wrong. I had, um, I still had this being powered down the side here because this doesn't need to be here at all anymore. And we can probably just do that. And I guess, I guess really this can just be a solid thing of terracotta. It doesn't have to be anything at all. I just doop, doop, doop. Put this in here like that. Might grab a little bit more. Get out of here. Grab a little bit more terracotta. 
think I've got a terracotta box in here somewhere. Yeah. And if we do this, then this will look nice and neat. And you know what? I think this could even be, yeah, that's fine. So what is the purpose of this then? Oh, right. Powers the, locks the, locks the thing. It's funny, once you start blocking stuff off, it really st stops making sense. So I guess I could really have terracotta all the way up. Like that's not gonna matter, right? So really that could be glass. So like all this could be, could be glass. That's good because I was worried I was going to lose this pillar and I kind of like the way that this looks. So maybe we'll change that out to be glass. Okay. And then like that, can I still access this? Yes. So let's try that out. Ah, so it is getting caught. How can I, I guess maybe a slab there would help. Let's try that. See if I can put a slab here. See if that actually allows me to put in a couple of. Oh no, that does the opposite of what we want. <laughs> that puts them all. That puts them all over there. Uh, hmm. Because I can't put anything in that space because of the redstone. I could try maybe putting a glass pane here. That might help. What if I did that? What if I put a glass pane here? Uh, oh, it connects to the, oh, no, fence post. The fence, does a fence post? The fence post probably connects to the dropper too, doesn't it? I don't know why a glass pane would and the fence post wouldn't, but it's worth a try. Let's see. It does it does connect and I'm assuming it probably does the same thing yeah pushes them all off to the side okay so we might just have to deal with some loss I don't really know what else I could do to push them to the side a trapdoor flipped up to cover the repeater paranor with the save I think you might be right so trapdoor 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 I don't have those in my shulker boxes so we shall grab one of these and see what we can do. Thanks for the idea, Paranor. That's smart. <laughs> I've been playing for Minecraft for a couple hours, so I'm a little bit fried. So Redstone live on, on stream is always a little bit tricky. Requires a lot of the brain. Uh, so we want it to flip up. So I guess we want it on that level. I guess we just have to face a different direction. So we might have to cut, we might have to go back down here. Go down here. Do it this way. And so maybe if we do face in this direction. Nope. I guess it has to go maybe on the redstone. Ah, that should do it, I think. So, another test. Paranor with the save. Smart, 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 smart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very cool. Hive mind, people. If you don't have one, get one. <laughs> they save you a lot of stress. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so we can replace. Oh, that's a torch. That doop, doop. And so now we can focus on making this thing look a little bit better because obviously it's not great. Uh, we can replace this with a pumpkin, although that might have been a jack-o'-lantern. Some of these are actually lights, and then they're hidden. 
So I don't remember which ones are which, but we can do that. And I think what I did over the other places that I just used like the same sort of wood uh, encasing and then kind of like trickled that down and just made like a little frame around around the chest. So we can probably use some dark oak stairs, it looks like. We'll have to make some. It's fine. Mm, yes, we absolutely will. Uh, it's fine. We get lots. I should probably just make a ton. So I'm thinking it will be something along the lines like this, where we'll have like a stair here, like that, and then this, which actually looks pretty good with the farmland. I like that a lot. Uh, and then we'll have to do something with that block that's underneath the hopper. And maybe we'll just do like a dark oak, regular dark oak uh, plank block just to kind of go all matchy matchy. I like the dark oak and the, um, the dark oak and the uh, pumpkins. So wait a minute, what am I looking at here? Underneath, so another one back. I gotta find the hopper. There we go. So, there. And I like, I kind of like that. The hopper shows, but that's not the end of the world. And I guess we just have to figure out what we're doing up here now. So we can do something like this. And what else could we do? I guess we could just kind of like continue this out there and cover it up somehow. Maybe, nope, that's exactly what I had before. I don't want to do that. Let's do, I guess I could just do a plank, but that seems kind of boring. Could maybe do like a stripped, stripped dark oak. Could look good. It's just like a little bit of a different texture. Have it go sideways. Nope. So much of this stuff is just trial and error. Like you just have to kind of sort it out. Oh, wait a minute. Happy accident. That looks okay. That looks all right. Um, and then we have a sign that would go on top of that. How does that look? I can't wait till we have the better color signs. I just walked up against the cactus. Uh, yeah, I think that looks okay. I think maybe it needs like stone buttons or something on the end. So does this for that matter. Yeah. I think that's good enough for now. It wasn't anything special to begin with. So Dartmouth, Meadows, Community, Pumpkin, Farm. So yeah, I don't, I don't think this will work with multiple kinds of items because of the one, the one input. I'd have to filter, I've, I'd have to filter the pumpkins and the melons out from here. But what we could end up doing is just coming up with a better pumpkin or a better melon farm because these ones have like they they're lossy um i mean they, they work they work just fine but i could have the same idea both of these farms could just have their chests dropped by a block and have the same idea hook up one of these droppers because this water stream runs right underneath here and i could hook these up into it or i could potentially make a, a just a shorter version of that farm like maybe one layer that could look okay. I'd end up with a big glass green cube here, which would be weird, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm happy that this worked out though. Currently 
60 pumpkins. So let's do three and then test. Test, test, perfect, perfect. And we'll get rid of that. And then maybe we'll put in another five. There they go. Now there's no way that I can keep up with them, but they should be making their way down to the pumpkin farm. And I might be able to, I don't want to fly because if I fly, then I unload the chunks too quick. And so then they'll get stuck somewhere in between. So we kind of have to chase them. Matt says, I actually did love the snow, by the way. It made me seriously laugh. Oh, thanks, man. It was such an easy prank to pull. You just, you build a snow golem in someone's house and you let it stay there for months or weeks, which is essentially what happened. Because anytime anybody was on the server, whether it was myself or Alistair or anybody, they would just be wandering around your house putting snow down, which I think is pretty funny. Okay, so I'm gonna pop in here. I'm surprised I got that the first time. 11 pumpkins. Are we gonna see more come in? I might have to just fire a bunch and just have like a constant stream of pumpkins transferring from one place to the other to make sure that this is working. That might be the thing to do. Man, I really wish that this Mac lag would stop. It's really hard on the head. It almost gives me motion sickness. So I say 11 is probably about right, um, but we can take those out again. And then we'll put in the double filter. We have completed the, I guess, front side here as far as the technical stuff. I do, I do maybe want to put, maybe want to put some more wheat or something around here. We can add some color and we'll fix the path up again now that we've got this ladder in here. But the other side of things needs to be sorted out. And that is this. What are we going to do here? I like the idea of having it glassed in. I could just put glass across the top of it and not have the glass connect to that. But I feel like there's an opportunity here to have the glass actually come up and, and connect and do something cool. So I'm going to grab the orange glass again. And put some of this glass back. Could probably dump some pumpkins. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these carved pumpkins, by the way. I've got absolutely no idea. That goes back here. Stone. We have some workable inventory. Always a fun thing. Oh, redstone. And terracotta. Perfect. Okay. This is much better. Anybody else feel claustrophobic when your inventory is full? So the question is, do I want to do glass on this layer? Which I think will look weird because of how suddenly this um, oak log stops. But this oak log doesn't have to be that direction. It's some of the nice, one of the cool things I've been trying to do is have these things look like they function. So Sorry, that's not an oak log, it's a spruce log. Um, one of the things I could do is actually do that and this, even though it's not needed, but we could technically make it look like it's being supported. And then we can just kind of pop in here, steal that torch, grab this. This is going to break the system a little bit and then put that torch back because that torch is what locks everything. So that probably drained a bunch of a bunch of stuff, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we can do something like that. And then I guess I guess we just we could put glass like here. Like that. I'll come out and do like some more landscaping after this but i thought it would be nice to have the glass like connect up to here thought that could look cool 
Oh, Cosmic Dancer, thanks so much for the link. Appreciate that. We should make that a like a night bot, maybe not a timed thing, but we should make it like a short, a short, uh, short link or something. So yeah, I think that looks okay. I don't know if I like it all the way up to the top though. I'm kind of wondering what it would look like if we had stairs that went back that way. So if we got rid of this and then just replace that with some dark oak stairs to connect it, but not have it be like so, so square, like so flat. So I could do that and then chop this one out. And either, I guess we could just have it be the same. Still looks kind of like a ramp. Kind of prefer it when they kind of stuck out the same length. So this is more about fashion over function, obviously. Nope, not that either. I broke the weed. I knew that was going to happen at some point. Uh, thinking maybe fences. I don't know whether spruce or dark oak, but maybe probably probably spruce. Oh no, definitely the dark oak. Do I want one in between? I do not. There we go. That's a little bit better. Although, hmm, I guess we should do the do the spruce because we've used it everywhere else. Ah. Oh. The back and forth sometimes in Minecraft. It's either these or slabs, dark oak slabs. If you use slabs, perhaps replace the end wood with bark blocks. Yeah, I was thinking about bark blocks. I kind of I kind of wanted to look the same as everything else though. So there's that, you know, like these have got ends on them. I think the problem is that I like these, this looks good with the fences underneath the logs and unfortunately we've got stairs here I guess we could we could switch this out this doesn't have to be stairs here I just wanted to hide that hopper so these these could be fence posts if I grab more of these we'd lose the farmland underneath if they went right down to the ground that's the only thing they would have to go into uh, oak like dark oak, so we'd lose the farmland. Not a big deal, we can always replace it. So we could do something like this. Wah, not that. Take that out, take that out, do this, and then... But have this, have that be like a dark oak block. And then yeah, that might work. That might work because then we could change could change a couple things, but let's see what this looks like. Grab that. And dark oak. So we can do this like that. It's a, it's a bit neater. And we run into an issue on this side with the hopper. I have to get rid of that. And then do the same thing there. They don't connect to the stairs, which is nice. Um, but then don't think I want that like that to me looks kind of silly so without a block here we do 
do have that issue, but it doesn't have to be perfect. We could have maybe a stair here if we did it that way. Like it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be symmetrical. Hmm hmm hmm. I wonder if we could maybe just get away with with like a log. Yeah, I think that's the better way to go. I'm trying to get too fancy. Just trying to get too too fancy. So we can maybe get rid of this and then just do a log like that. And then you can be able to see the log from all the other sides. That's just a hopper, but that's fine. And then for the stairs on this side, we'll just do the same thing. Yeah, and then this, we'll get rid of this pumpkin. Yeah, I like that. I think I think we're gonna go with I think we're gonna go with that. Uh, not thrilled about seeing that hopper, but there's not much you can do outside of maybe this. Which you know what? I think I think we're gonna do that. Never hurts to just mess around, right? Just kind of throw stuff down. It's so easy to replace blocks and, and change things in this game that it's always fun to just play around until you get something that you like. I don't think I want to cover that up. So if I put one right there, yeah, I think that becomes too too tricky if I ever need pumpkins to grab pumpkins out of there. So we'll leave it like that. I like that quite a bit. <clears throat> 